Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and this is UDM Pro Complete Setup Part 12 where we're going to be talking about alerts. Now alerts in Unify Protect are very, very helpful, but just like alerts in any sort of IT alerting system, you want to be able to separate out the noise. So while the alerts are very, very useful, if there are too many alerts, just as humans, we tend to ignore those alerts. So let's take a look at all of the various alert settings and fine tune those alerts so that they work best for your own organization. But first, if you are enjoying this video tutorial series, make sure you give a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to Crosstalk Solutions for more videos just like this. We try to do two to three tech videos every single week. And if you're just interested in buying me a beer, there's a link down below to do that too. Okay, so starting right here at the desktop of the UDM Pro, to get to alerts, we're gonna click on settings, and then we're gonna click on my alerts. Now right now the alerts are turned off completely, so we're going to turn on our alerts, and then we can say enter activity alert name. In this case, we're just gonna call it my alerts. And then we have when to send. So this is a really interesting setting because it can be used in a number of different ways. We can say never send alerts, which I don't know why we're turning them on in the first place if we're never sending them. Uh, we can always send alerts or we can send alerts on a custom schedule. Now the custom schedule is a bit clunky the way that this works. Like you can put in blocks of when you want the alerts to be sent, but you can also put in like a block of, I think it's like a 10 minutes or yeah, it looks like differences of about 10 minutes or it's like it like splits each hour into like eight segments. And so you can kind of like get things off like this where it, it would be nice if you could just sort of like drag and drop over a complete area or just sort of, you know, drag your mouse over. So now I've got all these different blocks in different times and I got to click on each one of them and then hit delete. So it's kind of cumbersome, but at least you can see like how we're setting these up. Now to me, the most useful thing about setting a custom schedule for your alerts is a situation where imagine that you are a business owner of a retail shop and your shop closes at, you know, say 6 p.m. and you open at 8 a.m. What you might want to do is set motion alerts to push to your phone or to email you if motion is detected inside the store during after hours periods, right? Because you would wanna be notified immediately if there was some motion in your store when no one is supposed to be there. So that's kind of what I'm setting up here. I'm saying, you know, between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. And then also, you know, we'll say after 6 p.m. we wanna set up this custom schedule of alerts. The blue boxes indicate when we are actually performing our alerts. So now if we set it up like this, we're basically saying, don't alert me during business hours. Only alert me after hours if we detect motion or whatever. Now, if we scroll down here, we can see the various cameras and which alerts we might want to enable. So we have different columns here. We have connect slash disconnect. This is basically saying if a camera goes offline or comes back online, send an alert. So for this one, I would want an email and a push alert if any camera ever goes offline. Then we have the different types of detection. So we have standard motion events and then we have smart detection. So in this case, I would probably wanna do push detections for any camera that has that capability. Notice that like for the G3 Flex camera, I cannot select uh, an alert for push detections because that is a G4 camera feature, not a G3 camera feature. But on all my G4 cameras, I can do either motion or smart detections. So once again, the difference between email and push is that email notifications are delivered via email and push notifications are pushed to the Unify Protect app on your smartphone. And you don't have to select all your cameras. In the example of a small retail shop that only wants notifications when motion is detected after hours, if you've got a camera on the front of your store where that camera can see cars driving by, you might not want the motion events to happen where there's cars driving by because again it's going to give you too much information pushed to your phone and as a human you're going to tend to start ignoring those push alerts because you're just like oh it's just another car that drove by when in reality someone's robbing your cash register so basically you only want to set these type of alerts up where it's going to be most useful so once you're all done with that you can click save and now we have an alert 
Now keep in mind that you can also create multiple alerts. So why would you want to create multiple alerts? Well, let's do this. Let's change this first one and we're going to say nighttime motion detection. And then we're going to scroll down. We're going to keep my schedule so that we're only alerting after our business hours. We're going to scroll down and I'm going to get rid of the connect slash disconnect uh, events, uh, right? So now we're going to save this and now let's create another activity alert. We're going to call this connect disconnect events. And this time we're not going to set a schedule and we're going to do an email and a push alert 24 seven anytime a camera connects or disconnects and we're going to save that. So now effectively I've created two different types of alerts. I've created an after hours motion only alert. So push motion events to my phone when they're detected on any of these cameras after hours. And then I have a second alert that says email me and push to my phone anytime a camera is connected or disconnected at any time of the day or night. Because again, it might be the middle of the day and someone takes a baseball bat and bashes your camera off the back of your building. You're going to want to know about that right away. Okay, so there's a quick overview of the alerts in Unify Protect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name is Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.